start with you. Hi, how are you? Hey, hey. Um, I had an idea like uh, the movie uh, The Most Dangerous Game, um, where you bring a bunch of people to your state and you're going to hunt them for sport and you're explaining um, the rules and you're just really worried that they're going to get into your neighbor's yard because your neighbor will freak out. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the pitch meeting because that's what we have today. Okay, the pitch meeting is... Uh... But, well, we know what it is. But how do you feel like going in? Is it a load of bullshit? Well, my theory on the pitch meeting is usually when something sounds really funny, that person doesn't intend to actually write the, the thing. Because if you have an idea, you don't want to blow the joke. So if you if you pitch something that sounds funny, you've you've blown the joke of the sketch, and then people won't be surprised on Wednesday when you read it. Uh, I had an idea where you go into a Hale and Hardy soup shop. And you're dressed as a medieval king, and I'm your servant. And uh, you sort of proceed through all the different soups and keep claiming that you were displeased. <laughs> it's it's a mixture of 50-50, 50% uh, bullshit, 50% actual pitches. All right, do you know what you're going to pitch? I have no idea. You sure? No idea. Will? Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, Fred and I have an idea. There's a carpet commercial for Empire Carpets. It has this really weird song. Eight hundred five three three. I think five eight eight. <laughs> <laughs> We're figuring out something with it. You might be the musical consultant and you're a real taskmaster, or you might be one of the singers. Uh, but something having to do with that commercial. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have an idea where a high school football coach gets sick and you're the drama teacher filling in. Uh -huh. You're a little over-inspirational. <laughs> uh, and then you are trying to raise money for a play idea you have, which is Dangerous Liaisons done in a hot tub called the uh, Jacuzzi. <laughs> All right, well, uh, two shows to Christmas. Uh, they're lighting the tree on Wednesday. It's always an exciting time here, and uh, uh, he's really good at it, so uh, we'll start now. Um, I'll just say this because it's going to sound really pretentious, but like my writing days are really important to me. Like the chemistry, what's going on in my life. Because ideas come, I don't take it for granted that an idea is going to come. With some luck, something will come. And that's how it is. One of the uh, things I do is uh, this character, Vinny Badecci, is this Italian tech talk show host. And we were going to write one uh, for you, and you, you would essentially be playing yourself, but you're kind of, uh, it's kind of like when you have to do press junkets and you go to Italy and it's just a guy who's just very well, not very well in, ill informed, 
He's but he does like impressions and stuff. Yeah. And sort uh, of a variety, like a low rent variety show. Yeah, it looks like the Charlie Rose set, but then like very like puppets will come into so, it and. And there's no there's no guarantees. There's no nothing. It's just like tonight when I'm at work, I hope that what I come up with is at the very least somewhat entertaining at the table. And there's no way to know. No way to know. I was saying to Bill, being drawn out, like, I think he didn't think that's a documentary. Like, so he's documentary? And he goes, wait, you thought that was a documentary? And, like, explains and the whole like, what is it like living, you, you know, yeah. what is it like living with people inside yeah, of your head? I, like, see, like, I'd rather, like, he explains it. Like, if he does, like, a long explanation of the plot, like, you thought that was real, then I liked your line, like, you have a crazy life. You have a crazy life. <laughs> <laughs> you have a crazy life, John Malkovich. And um, then I was thinking maybe, uh, Italy has a movie called Bean Vinny Videci. Right. And uh, it's, it's, it's a porno. Right. My life is just like your life. I have a film called Bean Vinny Videci, so you say a porno. And then, yeah. like, we had a clip idea. Which is it was just... funny, which is a clip. Which is just, it was just me, and then just in front of me is just a huge, like, just, it's all mosaic now. Like, you don't see anything. <laughs> right, right. Like, see it's just me, like, going, hey, all right, hey! And, and it's just like, a mosaic. Hey, to, and, and then jump into a mosaic, <laughs> right, like right, a pile of mosaic, like, you can't even show faces or anything. Right, it is just, like, full-fledged orgy, like, everything in the room is mosaic out. <laughs> I think that could be a great... And then being, like, 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 you walk over to a table, and then, like, the whole table's like, it would be nice if it, like... Or, like, yeah, if you had, like, something where Bobby comes in, like, what's going on, what's going on, and then he's, like, and then, and then it's just all mosaic, <laughs> yeah. and he just disappears into it. It's like, all uh, blurred out. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how you doing? Will. Yeah, how are you? Thanks. Great, great. I gotta say, I didn't really love it the first couple years, because I was always... It was just a different atmosphere. I was new, I was scared. There was a huge cast. It was like 16, 17 people, and trying to get stuff on was really, really hard. So the Empire Carpet thing, we, we wrote up a version of it. Okay. And I was just curious, do you sing? Do you want, do you... Because yeah, right now we have you in the role as the person singing... Uh -huh. uh -huh. And you're right, it is yeah. Yeah. absolutely 588. How do you interact with the hosts if you've never met them before? Probably want to work yeah. with them on the show. I mean, sure. so what are you going to be doing? Oh, well, I, th I think <laughs> just the more, the more you get to know them as people the first part of the week, the more comfortable they feel and, and the more they'll maybe push it and have fun and, and go nuts. Eventually we grind you down to the point where you're something like, <laughs> like you just, just, you know, just you can get as big yeah. in the, okay. in the uh, crying stuff as you want yeah. to. Okay, here we go. I just wrote a joke. Michael Phelps was named Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year. So finally, some recognition for Michael Phelps. There we go. That will not be a joke that will ever see the light of day. That's what we call a page filler. At least it looks like I've done something productive. These are the, um, like we get these every day. These are the setups with news stories in them. But if there's no good news on here, what I do is, when I'm really desperate, I go over to the window. If I need more news stories, and I look down at the NBC ticker down there, and I, I wait for a good story to come across there, and then I try to write a joke off of that. I don't have a lot that I've written, so that's what I've got so far. And I'll come back tomorrow with when I'm more rested and give it another pass. So do you pretty much write by yourself for a while, and then...? Uh, no, everyone's just super busy. I think everyone's real excited that John Malkovich is here, and yeah. I tend to... I have to write down my ideas, like, quickly, before I forget. I'm just waiting on other people to get done writing so that I can work with them, but I don't want to go in there looking like an idiot, so I have to plan it out first. <laughs> I kind of want Casey to ask, like, a person, like, a question, like, about if she got her period or if she, like... Casey has French to Gertie. Yeah, because she's like the mean one. Like she truth really or dare. Would. All right, Gertie, truth or dare. Truth. Now it's not my turn. Have, have you gotten your period? 
No dare. Take no dare. Take off your nightgown and let us Wait, no you. truth. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this coming up will be my 10th episode. I still can't believe it. <laughs> I'm, I'm new to the show, so I've yeah. just been trying to work with as many people as possible. The last one should be, like, she plays, it's like action-adventure or something. Like, bear with me as I'm trying to describe this. And she's a bride, and she has, like, her bouquet, and she, like, throws the bouquet and it explodes. Yeah. No. <laughs> This is live TV, like, what am I thinking? I always felt like it's, asking someone to write with you is like asking someone to go on a date. It's the most awkward, humiliating, like humbling. You just like knock on the door, and you have to do it three times a night, basically. Am I hurting her or am I trying to like? I guess you're What if I'm on her back, like, um, you know, oh, like, like kids want to Yeah, 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 get they want to ride. Yeah, I'm trying to get yeah, a ride. that's good. And she's like, okay, you know, you're really hurting me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like musical chairs. You don't want to be the last one. You're a pony. You're a pony. <laughs> They're writing something, you know. Because at the end of the day, the performers are hired to be performers, or, or they'd be writers, so you do need help. So you may have this, like, wacky voice, but it's got to be given structure, and so the writers need the actors and vice versa. It's very symbiotic. But every... Every few months. Every, every months. yeah. I just wonder if it's clear that well we were in we were using the man, the men in black memory eraser while she was pregnant against the strict advice of Dr. Crothers. The baby at Boynton Tank was born with infantile men in black memory eraser syndrome. Mother and I were so heavy into using that we did it while she was pregnant against our doctor's orders. When the baby was born, he looked like a curled up fist with shrimp eyes. Ew, really sick stuff. Well, here's the diff here's the, here's what I'm seeing that I didn't see when I hosted is uh, you know I show up and they pitch some ideas to me, and then you go but to I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't you know you don't see all the all the effort you know and all the work. It's just like they pitch some ideas and then boom, there they are the next day. And you say, oh yeah, I like that. I know. That. You know what I mean? No, now you know too why like it's that thing where you go to the. If you like anything, tell us. Because if you have an affinity towards it, because somebody's gonna be working all night on something. What are you an apple? Is it, is it this? Is it like the setup and then you walk in and there's a whirlwind? And then it's over? <laughs> I thought it'd be good if I came in positive. <laughs> and couch, don't forget your tops. <laughs> Way to go, phone. <laughs> phone, ringing off the hook. I love it. You're phone, blowing. ringing. Who are you? I love it. Who are you? I love it. What's this, an apple? You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my pants are down at my ankles. You think we should start with that one or start with this one? That's, that's a more classic sounding part. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a that's a little busy. Sack lunch. You don't have much formal education. There's a place for you here. All right. <laughs> You're doing a great job, cop. I'm promoting you to glass. Hello, fellow. Don't worry, glass. Your job is safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Are, we, are these real promotions? Like, is this promotions? something I should this talk really to? Happen? Is this something we should talk to HR about? I mean, your concern makes me excited for you. Yeah, Look at you jotting all this down. Look What's at you that? Jotting. What's this? <laughs> number two pencil. Pff, you're number one in my book. I'm keeping this. I'm joking. It's yours. Hey, look at this. You could put this phone up on the wall. This phone's black. A trailblazer. <laughs> <laughs> this phone's black. A, a trailblazer. trailblazer. Don't worry. I see shades of gray. <laughs> I like the first one. The, the classic gets right to it. Do you think this one gets... I love one called the mudslide. Do you think this one outweighs its welcome weight? Outweighs its welcome weight.
prelude to a crap. So are we and then are we being let go or should we be nervous or uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 <laughs> but you've been promoting people. Uh-huh. Promote. I've been promoting things. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, the whole desk turns for the drinks afterwards. For quality products at great prices, call Empire today. 800 Empire. Today. I'm the director, he's singing the song, and you're the Empire Carpet Man. So, I'm doing this off-key in bed, but for whatever makes, whatever would fit, so like, The lost works of Judy Bloom, Judy, 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 Judy Bloom, the lost works. The lost works? <laughs> yeah, as it's fading out. <laughs> okay. Don't comment on anything, I want to look at everything on the internet. Literally, and now I want to see that. I didn't see it on the internet. Now it's, fucking turn it on it's, right it's, fucking it's, now, uh, you right. fucking pussy. It's not on the internet. <laughs> How do you know? It is on the internet. Uh, it's on the internet. It's on my 25 fucking blogs. <laughs> oh, God damn it. My 25 fucking hard ass will run blogs. <laughs> hard and low. <laughs> oh, my God. The fucking hard ass will run blogs. Lost words of Judy Blue. Yeah. Judy, 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 Judy Blue. <laughs> the lost works of Judy Blue. Judy, 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 Judy Blue. The lost works. Yeah, no, your, your sleeping pattern gets all mixed up in this place. But you you just learn to, to kind of live in a haze. I want it to last forever because it feels so good. But I also want it to end because I know how good it feels at the end. I'll get maybe an hour of sleep or two hours of sleep. I'll just sleep on my couch. Last week... I got 25 minutes. Fuck. That is her spirit. And her vagina are amazing. Yeah, something about it. If you just somehow get the word vagina in here. See, it's just because it's your your first first time doing it that you guys are so tired. You do it a couple <laughs> times, you get used to it. Um, yeah. Well. The worst thing, though, is like probably we're, we're going to finish the thing, we'll probably work on it for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and then I would guess we'll try to get one more going if we finish by 8. <coughs> we could. So that's, that's the thing is you always, for, I don't know, we'll see. But we always think like, ooh, we could get one more in. But if that had been the one that we were finishing by eight, then we would still feel like we could get one, one more in. Okay, we're going to go back to work. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can hold out. So. I do now. I did. I'm in awesome shape now. Really? Yeah. I look awesome. I feel awesome. I have my comedy fever dreams. We have a lot of really good ideas and then I wake up and realize they're terrible ideas. Did you dream a lot? I have like crazy, um, yeah, like I don't have, I don't sleep well. I, dr I have dreams that like I should be working because uh, I should. <laughs> They're very easy to trace dreams. Uh, 
you know I need like one of those books. I'm like, what does this dream mean? So your dream was basically what I'm seeing right now? Yeah. Like you in here working? It's that funny, yeah. But I'll have like a lot of like, oh, that would be funny. And then I wake up and I'm like, that's not so. Because you can't think of good ideas while you're also sleeping. Too much. We have too many. So how do we, what do we, what's our number? Let's see, right. well, Janine's had 49, we took away two, it's 46, but... I think Joe still has things he's handing in. All right, I don't know how many we have, we have 46 or 47 So, or 48. We'll, we'll get a total later. Oh, you're writing it now? Sure. Got it. Transition has started. Transition. Right. So seven. monologue, right? Yep, monologue. What are we going to do? You want to do Vinny or... We can do Vinny. Then we need something that's good for John. I like soup stock. I like soup stock. I like conversation, conversation Susan. Susan. I don't know how it's gonna shoot. So the question is, we can either we can go with drama teacher or soup stock. Um, one of them should be first. Right. I like soup stock. Sure. Hey, Fred. Dude. How late were you up last night? Till ten. I left at ten thirty in the morning. Was like I gonna hour sleep? Oh. But you love that. That's oh, what you were talking about, the Tuesday? You know something? It, it's just like, you just have to, you know? You have a piece, and you're like, I gotta work out. I went to sleep at about, about 8 in the morning. Okay. Then woke up at 10. Um, it was like for uh, probably about 11.30. I went to bed. In your office? In my office. Is there a blanket in there? There is. My mom got me an SNL blanket. How about Larry King? Yeah. Playing Porno Santa. I don't know. I don't know if we want to like start with porno so early, but it is it is soft on the porno. And what did we say we're ending on? We didn't. We didn't. You no, know, actually, horse cops. Horse cops and dunkers. Could, but that could actually could end. Could end. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's um, okay. it's, it's mostly it's crazy, crazy, and there's some singing in it enough. All right. And he says, "Eat a bowl of dick." It's hard to follow. It's hard to follow Eatable Dick. And then are we going to do, like, fake karate poses and shit? Like, while the rest of the song plays like that? Doing fake karate? Or just, like, any kind of fake action for the opening of the show or whatever? Um, like, getting dressed or something, like, putting on a mustache or something. Yeah, mustache out and shit. Maybe. I hadn't thought about it. We'll see if we're, we're inspired to do anything. Is it possible yeah. to play that thing for Keenan? Yeah. Which one? The horse cop steak. Just let him hear what it sounds oh, yeah. like. Oh, just, yeah. Just bump it. Bump it loud. Absolutely. Good. That's, how do you like it? Does it sound great? Does it sound full? <laughs> I'll let you do it. Is there a Keenan? thing, Tom? Yeah. You want to do in 1987, for no yeah, apparent reason, with no warning, Elliot Durango's stepfather moved his family to Omaha, Nebraska. They found residents in a nice cul-de-sac and bought a minivan. In that same cul-de-sac lived a young man named Butch Twain. Butch was 11 years old and lived alone. He was independently wealthy thanks to his baseball card collection and the fact that he only ate cereal. Well, to say that Elliot Durango and Butch Twain hit it off would be an understatement. They became best friends and went to the same middle school where they both excelled at phonics. Then on to high school where they're still tied for the school record in pole vaulting. Then they went to a very expensive college and graduated in 10 days. They flew to space. Then they moved to San Diego and became dog food inspectors. They co-created Murphy Brown and used the money to build a rival White House. They drove a double-decker bus and attended over 15 Dave Matthews concerts. Their hair was perfect. Then one day they were to ride horses and became policemen. Now they're horse cops. And if you don't like it, well, you can eat a bowl of dick. We can do that, right? Horse cock. 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 Horse Horse cock. Horse cock. Horse cock. Horse cock. Horse cock. Horse cock. Uh, How soon is it coming in? I just turned it in. Oh. Here's a real question. Should I write jacuzzi? Jacuzzi. No. 
Right? I should not write that. You should not now. You've been asking me that question for two days. Yeah, I know. If you give me a straight answer. I always said go ahead if you insisted. But I made, but I made you insist. It's a great title. It's a terrible it's great That's a great question. I'm really having trouble with it. I'm going to keep at it. I don't know if today's the day. I can't do jacuzzi any other week. I don't know, but... We've had, we're like up to 50. No. Because of, yes. Yes. Because of all those um, You're not going parodies. anywhere tonight anyway. Okay, so three yeses and a maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what did you count me as? <laughs> a maybe. You I never found maybe. it. Sounds like uh, Jeff Montgomery. Guys, I know scripts aren't out yet, but uh, we're going to hand them right. Thank you. Sure. State guardando Rai 2, adesso in rivista della televisione con le fine vedete! Dr. Montage and Phil over the years interviewing celebrities. Shots fly by of John Rathburger, Al, Brian Austin Green, John Johnson, <laughs> Hollywood stars, cameras, slates, fly through. Ragazzi, ragazzi, è tempo per rostere dalle fine con mio fine vedete! Bella Zinni, Ms. Nash, Trin, Center, Open Palms. Buonasera, mi sono arrivato a vederci, cosa mando mare! Noce, il Sinilano, Corrassino, Parreano, Italiano, in the line of fire, cosa erano? Rounders, cosa erano? Cosa erano? Di Piangelin, cosa erano? Bandas, John Malkovich! Buonasera, John Malkovich! Hello, I hope this isn't a problem, I don't speak Italian. Oh, come a sento mare, Pisso caravando, eh, sono non lo so, amici, amici, eh? Sono tutto per ragazzi, eh? Non Quanti fagioli ci sono nei vecchieri? Eh? A dove? Oh, 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 a dove? Eh, a dove? Oh, oh, a dove? Eh, a dove? Eh, a dove? Eh, cosa sento? Eh, eh, I'm sorry, he says that you told him you speak Italian, eh? Parlandole italiano, eh? Parlando italiano. Cosa fai? Cosa fai? Perché? I told you I could not. Siete tutti per ragazzi, eh? Quanti fagioli ci sono al bicchieri? Non lo so. Don't yell at me. Perché? Vaffanculo. Vaffanculo, amici. Amici, vaffanculo. Pagano, sono anno, ragazzi. Hai detto che non ti vuoi accadere, ma cosa sono? Baci il culo! Baci! Ma che dice di sì! Porca madonna! I'm sorry I lost my temper. Yes. I don't know, I think the main part of us now, a lot of people have talked about this, is you've got all this confidence before you get the show. And then you get the show, which should be a kind of validation, but you're immediately acting and doing comedy with people that are at the top of their game and their field and they often have been on the show for seven years and they're operating at such a higher level that you immediately compare yourself because you can't help but and you have zero confidence. I'll sign a suit stop inside Keenan Behind the Counter and Handsome Suit Abbey. Okay, one Moroccan lentil with crackers. There you go. Thank you. Next customer. Anakin. Presenting His Highness, King Rupert of Moldavia. Please, everyone, sit. No one moves, Jason. Enter the key. Uh, hi. Hello. I'm with the United Nations. We've got a foreign dignitary here who just needs a quick bite to eat. Oh, okay. Just make sure you take care of him, okay? Sure, no problem. I gotta take this one. Uh, welcome to Soup Stop. What did I get you? His Highness wishes to dine upon your savory offerings. <laughs> I am told in this country there are brawls to rival those of the broth masters of the Rheingold. <laughs> <laughs> what? Keep up, ladle boy, for there will be much talk of broth this day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my belly groans with the pangs of famish. Quickly, knave, present the soup. Whoa. 
but we got 20 different kinds. You can see up here on the board. How am I to know upon which broth to bestow my favor? Um, you can sample one. A sample. Tell us more. <laughs> I never wanted to be an actor, but I always wanted to be a comedian, okay. if that makes sense. Like, yeah. um, I still don't particularly consider myself an actor. <laughs> Growls and whimpers like a fussy wolf pup. The king grows weak. Yeah. Make haste, suit squire. But be warned, should you fail him again, we shall take our business across the thoroughfare to a rival soup dashery. Yeah, that is not a word. I've never, like, taken classes for acting or, like... I don't think I've ever done anything particularly dramatic or intense, like, but I feel like I can tell a dick joke pretty good. <laughs> That's kind of like what I trained in my whole life. Family living room on Christmas Eve. Holiday decorations are everywhere. Bill, in case your parents putting the finishing touches on the tree. Wow. Mom. Did you get us a calculator? Are we getting a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you, you have to wait. You don't know what you're getting. Okay, nobody promised you anything. Okay? Hey, come on. Who are you kidding? You didn't ask for anything else. <laughs> and then we went to Macy's. I saw you asking the guy if they sell calculators. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Everyone's going to get the stocking stuff. I'll do. <laughs> Ma, when are we opening the presents? I'm going to keep dividing numbers until there's like 50 numbers after the decimal. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just use the calculator on your computer? Chuck Nobody cares what you think! <laughs> We're getting a calculator and I can feel it. <laughs> Mom, can you open up present now? There you go. That's for both of you. Oh my god. To Paul and Aiden. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need. Freak out. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the size of Texas Instruments A100 model. I didn't start crying. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a calculator! This is the greatest day I will ever have! We got a calculator! Top model. So much. Look at the buttons. So He's the best person anybody could ever calculate. You God, it you think? It's comedy, but it sounds like you take the writing very seriously. Yeah, yeah. And not too what? seriously that I trample all over it. Like I can't strangle it. But I seriously enough that I'm like, there's all these people in this room. I don't want to waste their time. I don't want to make it boring. You know what I mean? So like I've got to. It's got to. That, that's step one. Um. Is there a lot of pressure? There? Yeah, there's some pressure, but like, I, I try not to think about it too. <laughs> Sometimes I can't believe I'm related to them. Yeah, they're pretty brilliant. They certainly <laughs> are. <laughs> on this calculation, you just friend looks off. I do do 89 times 56. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, no, here they go. Oh, yeah. I'll fix the compressions. Come, Come on, Dave, why don't we paint the town? There's lights up. And all that jazz. At the first word of the impression, I knew the train had gone off the tracks, and I had made a horrible mistake, and I had six pages to cut. I'm gonna brush my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz. So Tell me your experience when you were reading. Is this at filming? Yeah. <laughs> My experience was I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to die. <laughs> but it was so bad, it, I started laughing. It, I didn't, I didn't Did even you? go to a dark place because I'm like, it's so bad. So that's why while I was singing, I said, I'll work on this impression. I mean, it was the wrong, every part of the process is wrong. The choice, <laughs> the impression, the moment I started speaking, the middle, the middle to end, the end of it. Afterwards, I put my head in my hands and I was like, what? What? Uh, what? I couldn't look at Bill out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in recording studio, Fred.
The Empire, the Empire Carpet Man sits in a plush chair. <laughs> Will stands next to him. John enters. Hi, I'm Tad, Master Smith. I, I'm here for the uh, Empire Carpet. Yeah, we know why you're here. Get in the goddamn booth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say I'm a big fan. I actually have Empire Carpeting in my home. Love the commercials. I'll be just, just honored to be a part of it. Yeah, look, are you here to do this commercial or to get a freaking date? No, no, it was just... I know what you were doing now. Get in the goddamn booth and stop trying to butter up, Mr. No, no, no. It's all right, Paul. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. I won't, I promise. Okay, would you get in the friggin' booth <laughs> Okay, you ready or what? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, go now. Sing it. <laughs> go! 800 588 300 Empire. Oh, <laughs> no, do it again. <laughs> do it again! Uh, 800 Five eight eight two three hundred empire. Horrible. Do it again. Eight hundred five eight eight two three hundred empire. Come on, stop wasting our time, you piece of crap. Do it again. Eight hundred five eight eight two three hundred empire. You want it better? Do it again! 800, 588, 2, 300, Empire! Again! 800, 588, 2, 300, Empire! Again! 800, 588, Again! Again! I don't know what... Again! I don't know what you want. Again! <laughs> Again! Again! I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm losing my mind! Again! Shag carpet in a four story lock up in room. It's a little city that could on the west side. You listen to this! <laughs> Mike, what do you think? I like Drama Teacher, I like Vampire Movie. I liked, was it like for, oh, Empire Carpet. I like a lot. We're going to have a hard time uh, legally, but I think we should oh, soldier on. Oh, that was fun. Seth? Yeah, uh, definitely Empire Carpet. I like Vampire Movie. I like Drama Teacher. I like Twas the Night Before Christmas. Is there anything on uh, of the soup stop or anything like that? Do you want to do anything with that? Well, I don't know where he, they, they got lost between, uh, a medieval king and, and, a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a UN. Yeah. There's a horn sound. Yeah. yeah. Right. But there is, there is something in the UN that somebody from a, mm -hmm. you know, with some kind of dignitary trying soup. Sure. Did you like uh, the liaison in a hot tub? If you want to close with it, I'd love it. It's quite clean and quite quick. The more there's acting in it. Yeah. The better it is, because oh, the yeah. jets are better. But it takes a while to get to it, because it's setting premise for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll turn it up. Yeah. Seth? Yes? Where are you on Judy Bloom or the dog purse? I think um, 
If I had to pick, I'd go Judy Blume. Yeah, me too. I would too. Really? Yeah. 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 I mean, I think there are other people that can do the dog first, but I think that that John will when he starts talking in the Judy Bloom piece, it'll resonate. Yeah, we can. It'll be an easier piece to fix. I mean, no, no question about that. I'm sort of missing a silly piece in, in the dog. You're not counting jacuzzi. What? What jacuzzi's <laughs> close? You know what I mean? I, and, and it's even if we add cast to it, it'll. I will add a sillier beat to Vinny. Vampire will be silly. Yeah. Vampire's very silly. All right, so it's, we're leaning towards Judy Blume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have enough will? We well, have Vampire Carpet. Is vampire real. Carpet is his real. Right. Yeah. Piece. Piece. All right, no. let's go with this. No. Okay. All right, so we're yeah officially doing that for the monologue. And we like drama teacher more than the film execs. Well, film execs would be taken out. Taken out, Empire. yes, right. And, and Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If, if, if you like it, I don't mind mounting it. It's just that you're going to have to choose between dress and air. You yeah. can have two in a recording studio. Yeah. Think about it. No. It, it's not a... I'll think about it, but I think Empire is yeah. probably funnier because you, know, you don't see that color. No, you don't. Yeah. And, and do fart sense. jokes, the, the farts can just right, get right. longer, and there's not a yeah. lot else you can do with it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was oh, very yeah. nice material. Yeah, there was lots of material. Yeah. Yeah. I never tried out to be a cheerleader, but I think it's like cheerleader tryouts where you just do your thing, and everyone, all the you know, prospective cheerleaders go and huddle around, and you're, you know, your kicks were really good. Well, I thought your, you know, your palm waving was great, and then you just see the, the list on the wall, and that's it. Some people cry, some people are happy. That was the worst. I think that was really bad. No, no, no don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's like play picks. Every week, everybody runs to the cork board to see what part in West Side Story they got. And it's an ambitious, I know, for a high school yeah. to do West Side Story, but... I did it in high school. I wanted to be Chino. Are you smelling my beautiful non-washed? So, uh, Jacuzzi is, um, got a pre-tape of John and Limbo, which you might do... Tonight? Is that what you said? Yeah, there's a chance we might do it tonight, yeah. We won't know until the meal break. We'll make a call then. And, Bill, we've got some uh, sound effects, uh, some jets. Uh... Are you going to use that little hot tub and turn them on? Maybe. The reason I ask is that the hot tub reviews in the past are so loud yeah, we got barely in the mics that. after Well, there's, a, there's some kind of, like, a regulator on it, some sort, of, and we got yeah. burned on it the last time. I remember, yeah. It was bad. Well, it was I, really obviously, loud. I can... I can supply the sound effect or write it. The question is only the mechanics of the tub. If John well, can blow air through the water movie. Yeah, yeah. But if John can hose air air through them, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it. I don't need any. We don't need any kind of choreography for the sword thing, right? Because they're in the jacuzzi. It's not like they're doing some kind of fancy footwork, so to speak. Right, right. But we, but we do, we do fencing sound effects, Jason. There'll be clangs in there. Great, great. And a final title card. Um, so that, that should be married to the tape if it's coming off the pre tape. Yeah. It's a collaboration of many individuals, from the producers to the writers to the, you know, right on down to the design teams, people that build costumes, people that build wigs for us, people that build puppets for us. They still all are constrained to that window of two or three days. And sometimes I will approach new people to do something and they will look at your, you like you're crazy. Two days to do what? Each carpenter, they'll take on the various jobs. This is the hot tub set, and the way that it works in this case is we're going to do the decking and the tub itself first and get it out up to the studio so they can have it to rehearse. And the walls themselves will be built over here on the side, 
and that way the stage and the, 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 if the walls don't get there, they can still rehearse with the platform and the tub, the most crucial elements of the mm -hmm. set. You know, this is the set for the hot tub that sits on top of this platform. But by building them separately, I can send this out and not be held up by the walls not being finished yet. Between this and the tail I've been growing, sure is hard being a girl. Also, my nipples are the size of coffee can lids. But you knew that already. Anyway, I think I'm going to go burn this house down now. Talk to you later, God. Here are they. Uh, nice. How long is this? Do they know? Can we up their time sheet on them? Well, I did it, too. Okay. Um, let's see what we can do here. How much hair have you grown all over your chest and back, which is perfectly normal? That is a confusing thing to me if he's supposed to be a girl. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be some other thing like a horn or, yeah, you know, a thumbnail yeah, yeah, yeah. on the... Can we talk about that and also the tail? But thumbnail and your cossacks. Thank you. Yeah, we're not trying to do werewolf or, <laughs> or a man. Just like weird changes. Right, okay. Yeah. Weird Long changes that are not guy, right. 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 Maybe sangra lactation. Like a blood bleeding from the nipples, or I just made up that term. What about growing teeth under your arms? <laughs> growing the tiny of, baby the teeth. Set of molars that grew in my other arms. Or another head. Growing tiny teeth. the baby teeth under your arms falling out. <laughs> Which is probably heavy loss. I'm losing all the baby teeth that grow under my arm. How many nipples have you grown since puberty? Your nipples moving all over the yeah. body. How much are your nipples migrating? Migrating nipples. Which is perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah. Prehensile nipples? Yeah. Um, uh, her her <laughs> two top nipples are bigger than the other four. She's got yeah. animal nipples. Do you guys have nipple Which soreness through to your back? Nipple. Do you guys have an eyebrow on your third nipple yet? <laughs> <laughs> do you have eyelashes do on your all third your nipples, areola? Do all your nipples um, give milk or just the top two? <laughs> you guys' pubic hair grows out to the hips, right? <laughs> Is your feces white? <laughs> So it's like the soba, those like glass yeah, noodles. Glass yeah. 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 Like a little tag. Like uh, 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 ew. <laughs> you guys' pubic hair looks like fleece, right? Mine looks like steel wool. Mm -hmm. Or like an SOS pad. It's got like soap caked in it. <laughs> but that's sort of self yeah, you, yeah, you clean your dishes. You like clean no, your I put soap in there and let it dry. Yeah. You, oh, it looks cold. like it's cultivated to look like that. Exactly, exactly. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then just stay right in there to get the cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll watch the round the joint. Got it. Alright guys, here we go. Please, the blocking sugar. Conosciamo avanti la banda e salva la pizza. Io mi ha dato che parla italiano, che non lo so. Pira la sua e a fondo, tu 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 Bill, am I yelling during that? I think, no, I think or so you let him get his thing out and then you use it. And then it's mad. You got it. Okay. What, what are you saying? I'm telling him what you are telling him. I'm very, he, he, is, he is very sorry. He is ah. very sorry. Vaffanculo! He, he just said he loves Con Air. That is what he just said. So, um, we'll just try to fix the beats. I think we'll replace that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this word fajula? How do you say it? We just made up a word. But did you see that Betsy cautioned you on it? Yeah. Yeah. Melkovich, 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 Melkovich. Yes, that's. Yes, that's. I can be John Melkovich. Yes. Hello, I'm John Melkovich. <laughs> Should you say, like, I don't sound anything like that. You sound exactly like this. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I don't sound anything like that. You sound exactly like this. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, yes, you do. Doesn't he talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes, 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 <laughs> Should you say like something that would make me like, no, um, go in English. Like you say go, go like something English. that he like misunderstood. Like he, oh, to make good get there? Yeah. Right. Wait, I'm, does Bobby come to me first? Yeah. Papa! Papa! Oh, oh this is my little boy! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, 
I promise he could ask a question about movies, eh? And then I say, go yeah, ask yeah. him in English. Yeah, yeah, ask him. Go ask him in English. No, 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 no. Ask him in English. Eh? How do they make your face? So big on the wall, and then when the popcorn in the come in the truck and the butter in the same oh. truck. <laughs> you get in like a super tight on that. Bobby, this is all off the camera three. Way on your left. Oh, okay. Whoa. Can we get it to where he can look right at him? Yeah, I can do. I can do it. Yeah, let me just change something here. Yeah, Bobby, so forget the note I gave you. What did I do? On four instead? Yeah, I can do it on four. Okay. Ah, okay. How do they make your face on this wall? And when the popcorn comes, does it come in truck? And does the butter in the same truck? And when people die in the movie, then that, that happened in the real life? And why? And how? And how? <laughs> Is there something you can give him to make him happy, no, that, like, yeah. from under the desk, like, an Cigarettes? entire... An, oh, yeah. <laughs> here, here. Yeah, oh. <laughs> 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 that would be pretty funny. Well, that, that's, that's a, a lot to answer. <laughs> All right, from the top, guys. I'm just going to leave this here. Here we go. Stand by. We fade up on an exterior and we cube cage these. Okay, Gary's coming down the hall. Is everybody ready? Yeah, we're all ready. Hey, where's that new sexy girl, Sham? Oh, did we invite her? Well, I hope we did. You know what I mean? Oh, you know. Oh, you know. Oh, I know. Jimmy as well. All right, all right, all right. Stop drooling. She's coming, but she had to finish something first. Happy birthday! It's your favorite cake. It's so nice of you. Thank you. Where's, where's Sham? She's coming. Oh, we're holding. Okay, fine. Keep going, Jess. Where's Shannon? She's coming. Ah, fantastic. Am I late for the festivities? Shannon, I'm so excited you're here. Now it's a real party. Step over a little closer. That's good. Well, happy birthday, Mr. Jim. Call me Gary or Gare. I really don't care which one you decide. <laughs> I think it's, it's like a mix of film to, and stage. Similar how I felt as a as a host. Yeah. You know, coming in and it's like I I came in and I thought, you know what? The best way I think the best way to get not to get through this, but just I think the best results will come if I just get turn myself over right. and really. Well, I think it is. It's like it's like people go to acting class and go, "I'm not going to act like a tree," and then go, "Then don't go to acting class." Yeah, you know what I mean. If you're not going to surrender to the process, right. then you can hope you you can learn nothing or do nothing. Well, here's the first piece of the cake that I bought for you by myself, Mr. Thomas. Thanks, but ladies first. Hi, thank you. Here, Shanna. I think you're better now. Yeah, do that. Yeah. And I can't tell you why, because it's a real big silly secret. I love silly secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silly. Yeah, yeah. Listen closely. Cake gives me really bad, stinky, squirty diarrhea. <laughs> if you ask people, it's almost 90% true that whoever was in. The, the, whatever cast was when they were in junior high and high school, that's who they think is the best cast. Mm. You know what I mean? So you'll ask people that'll go, no, Danny Hart was the best. So these people are, you know, there's people, Farley's the best. Those guys are the best. You know, it was my, you know, it's like each time period, 
has their own. I think this is my favorite cast just because it's the one I host. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See what well, you know. You're more familiar. Shannon, would you like to crackers and cheese? Oh, I don't know what to say. Try something crazy, which at least to the beginning, like looking in the mirror <laughs> at me. <laughs> Are we gonna play a song? No, I don't play a song. What's no the song? song? No song. Let's be serious. Come on. All right. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Lock eyes from across the room. Down my drink while the rhythms boom. Take your hand and skip the names. No need here for the silly games. Make our way through the smoke and crowd. Maybe it's a, like a really basic answer, but is there something that you get out of comedy that dramas don't do, or is it? I just have always liked making people laugh. I don't know, just the way my personality developed, that was like how I interacted. That's how I felt like I was worthwhile socially. It was early on, I would make people laugh and I sort of clung to that. <laughs> so now anytime I enter any situation, that's kind of like what I lead with. What is it about like dramas or something where you, where you say, I like watching it, but <laughs> that's it. I guess I just, you feel embarrassed. Like I don't feel like I've, I've never I've never felt like anyone looked at me that way. You know what I mean? It's like that I really didn't care to see me be serious. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> But doing good drama is like, it's fucking kick ass. I'm glad somebody's out there doing that. I don't, I don't know if it's me, but. <laughs> well, we just had a pretty dramatic interview right here. I know, I think it got way more serious than I was expecting. Great. I think maybe I'm the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because of your influence. <laughs> fucking sucked it right out of me. Boy, that pop quiz in math was the pits. Sure was. At least it's Friday and my sleepover is tonight. You're coming, right, Bruce? Oh, I'll be there, Flo. Oh, that's right. Your sleepover is tonight. That means I'll need a bra for today and a bra for tonight. Much gorsting, you got a training bra? My mom said I had to because they were getting out of control. Hi, Gertie. Hi. Gertie, can you believe that pop quiz in math? Math makes you crazy. Are you coming to my sleepover tonight? Of course. And girls, no kid stuff. Tonight, we're going to play truth or dare. Oh, truth or dare. dare. Oh, God. Oh, great. Truth or dare. <laughs> <laughs> and we go to table. Okay. 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 All right, stand by, please. 
There we go. Stand by. We're going we go. five. Five, four, four three, two, one. Go, Barry. Are you there, God? It's me, Gertie. I'm really nervous about the sleepover tonight. I love my friends, but we're playing truth or dare, and I haven't told them about the changes my body's been going through. I know it's perfectly normal for every girl, but I can't help but feel icky. Hit it. Well, wish me luck, God. Clear. It's not like doing a movie where people think they have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Here you get points for trying and committing. Right. right. It's like if you and also too if you're a perfectionist, don't come here because nothing is ever perfect. Can, we, can you tell what is holding up? Can you tell it? Should it be facing more towards yeah, the camera? Yeah, let's just so do that last. You can cheat. Yeah, if you cheat. Yeah, that'd be great. <clears throat> Thank you very much. We want to fully gross people out. <laughs> oh, I think. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in years. It's in years. Come back, right? Yeah, we always need that. Yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> my kids will be looking and just be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Won't throw them at all? No, not at all. No? <laughs> they probably wouldn't even notice. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go. Yes. All right, here we go. Stand we'll by. Do it again. Five. Five. Here we go. We'll go again in five. Five, five four, four, three, three two, three. go, Barry. And announce. Are you there, God? It's me, Gertie. I'm really nervous about the sleepover tonight. I love my friends, but we're playing truth or dare, and I haven't told them about the changes my body's been going through. I know it's perfectly normal for every girl, but I can't help but feel icky. And out. Well, wish me luck, God. That's it. Clear. That was, yeah, that was That was good. Great. Yeah. Are they happy with that one? Tell them we don't care. We're happy. We are too. Great. So we're moving on? Yes. That's it, Matt. That's, That's it, Matt. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Well, That's hard to see. Cool, dude. Nice. That was really good, yeah. Are they going to have any more characters? I hope. What are the <laughs> I mean, do, you seem like you have a lot of, you do on yeah, a lot of dumb, do stupid Bill? stuff. Bill? He's well, he's the greatest. He's a dick. Well, he's a douchebag. No. <laughs> uh, no I really Whoa! Like Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I really didn't even know you were there. I was like, oh, he's really great. I was like, and I, the fuck you, because I was about to be like, you know what? He was really nice to me, and he took, took me out to, like, I was supposed to, I was about to be like, he's really cool. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 no. That's I didn't sweet. even know you were back there. <laughs> John Malkovich, one of our greatest actors of stage and screen, is returning to Broadway to reprise one of his most famous roles. And it's Vicomte. How do you pronounce that? Vicomte. Vicomte Sebastian de Valmont. Vicomte. The way you did it first is perfect. Vicomte. 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 Vicomte Sebastian de Valmont from the 1988 film Dangerous Liaisons. Except this time, all the seduction, lust, and deception takes place in a hot tub. Now, yes or no? It's up to you, of course. I'll merely confine myself to remarking that a no will be regarded as a declaration of war. A single word is all that's required. All right. Whoa. <laughs> and change. Okay, what time did you come to that? Uh, we got here about 1.30 uh, Friday afternoon. Who are you with? Uh, we're with my wife over here. Oh, there we yeah. go. You got here at 1.30, so you're third and fourth in line. That is yeah. correct. Are you, have you been big SNL fans your whole life? Uh, yes, I, I started going to SNL in 1975. Say that again, I'm sorry. I, I started to go to SNL on the first show in 1975. How you doing? I'm going out well, since. So this is the first time that you've been here? No. Oh, wait a minute. How many I, times have you been here? I've been to 563 shows. What? I've been to 563 shows. 
I went. Times? I went to the. I went to the first show ever. Back in 1975. Who's the host? George Collin, Janet Dean, and Billy Preston. Fetch the surgeon. Will you do me one final request? Of course. Jacuzzi now playing at the Winter Garden Theater. <laughs> Tickets still available. All of them. <laughs> oh, something went terribly wrong in here. Sorry about that. Yes. Did you see them rehearsing for this? Like, everybody bowed. He bowed and put his face in the water. Oh, really? Like, he bowed so far that he put his face I was just like, the guy's genius. Like, he's so funny. He's going to own the show yeah. this week. It's like you get those posts sometimes that you just kind of, you know, you want to give the whole show. <laughs> He's one of them. Kind of like the opposite of James hosting. You know? Total opposite. James Franco, we had to hold his hands through the whole thing. Yeah. What am I supposed to... What a cute card. I'm going to memorize everything. And then he could memorize where shit. Remember? You can't read, right? You can't read. He kept doing Spider-Man lines. That was weird. <laughs> weird. But Spider-Man's lines. Which was even yeah, weird. it was like, yeah, it was this hidden thing. of like, did you want to do Spider-Man? I think he did. Yeah. Vincent Price. Come on. What do you want me to do in First Nations into a fucking mirror? James, I'm going to do some weird ones. And you are turning the jet. Oh, I get to do it. I get to do it. I get to do a fucking Vincent Bryce in the mirror. That's funny. Dude, sad. Wait, what is the funny thing? Oh, it's fucking dumb. Oh, that's hilarious. He's like... The nicest person I've ever met in my life. He's like the nicest guy. Like, I can't believe he even would even talk to me or Evan. Like, we're just like, all right. All right, you got to do one more because this is how I see you every time I see you now. Is really? Do Willem again. <laughs> What's the line that we did? Uh, Avenge me. Avenge me. I like, it's like, I want you to kill Andy Sandberg. <laughs> No, we had to share a car together. He kept sticking his head at the moonroof and saying, Hey, look at me, I'm in a car. I mean, who does that? <laughs> All right, Willem, I gotta go. I gotta go finish. Okay, James. Avenge me. <laughs> Avenge me! Daddy, can you believe that pop quiz in math? Math makes me crazy. Are you coming to my sleepover tonight? Me miss a sleepover? No way. And girls, and no kid stuff. Tonight, we're gonna play truth or dare. Oh, yay! Yay! Truth or dare! Oh, great! You too. Truth or dare? I'm really nervous. It's a sleepover tonight. I love my friends, but we're playing truth or dare. And I have told them about the changes my body's been going through. I know it's perfectly normal for every girl, but I can't help but feel equal. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, well, 4, 3, up. 2, 1. I'm telling you, in France, Models put nail polish remover on their faces, and that's how they get rid of freckles. I read it in Blair magazine. <laughs> <laughs> you believe anything you read, Bamona? Hey, maybe we should sneak downstairs and watch the late movie. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> or we could stay up here and play Truth or Dare. Yeah! <laughs> or the movie idea. Okay, I'll start and I will show you runs how it's done. Okay, Mudge, truth or dare? Truth. Yes, I wear a bra. Okay, now I get to ask Gertie, truth or dare? Hold on, sorry, let's hold. And John, well, we're going to make this. The last word.
Did your daughter read me too? Well, she was always reading stuff like, I don't know, a million little pieces. Okay. <laughs> there you go, John. Okay, guys, we're going to take it from the top of the scene. Yeah, that's it. That's what it was. As I mentioned earlier, this week a London court convicted pop singer Boy George of attacking a Norwegian male escort, beating him with a chain because he thought he was looking at his computer. Well, look, but that's only half the story, isn't it? Look, it happens like this, right? Like, I was gay for a long time, yeah? Yeah. Right, so last year I hired me one of those gay prostitutes, right? Nothing wrong with that. So, we come over, and we're having a laugh. I do that thing when I go to the other room to be weird, right? <laughs> and I come back out and I get this epiphany, yeah? The bloke has touched my computer. So I hang up and tell him all, right? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, I disagree again. Yeah, there's a lot wrong with that. So everything's fine until this night gets in a tiz because I start beating him with it. A link for chain, yeah? Pretty <laughs> truth or dare? Uh, truth. Have you gotten your period yet? Wait, there. Okay, take off your nightgown and let us examine you. No, truth. <laughs> okay, same question as before. Have you gotten your period yet? Come on, Gertie. Gertie, Gertie you have to do the answer. Hey, come, come on, Gertie. Gertie. Truth. Come on, Gertie. Um, uh, well, yes. Wow, Can when did you get it? it? Eight months ago. Ooh, what's it like? Well, the first eight days it was kind of weird, but by the third week, I barely even noticed it. Gertie, your period lasted three weeks? No, my only period lasted eight months, which is perfectly normal. Well, that wasn't... that wasn't so bad. My turn. Bemona, truth or dare? Truth. When you think about a cute boy, do you foam at the mouth and black out for a day? Because it's perfectly normal. No. Gertie, I don't, I don't think that's normal. This is fun. It's my turn again. Dare. Watch me choke myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should play truth or dare anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, oh my God. So, as you can see, it's all a simple misunderstanding. No, it's not. It sounds like you can get it with a chain because you're a maniac. Oh, look, Seth, look, let's do this, yeah? Close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. And what? Picture this. <laughs> no, picture this as a computer, yeah? And you love it. You love it with all your heart. And someone's touching it, right? And it touching the screen and opening the applications and it copying and pasting. And they don't know what they're doing, right? Because they're a prostitute. Can you see it? Can you see a bloke touching your computer? Tell me right now with a straight face that you wouldn't handcuff him and beat him with a chain. I wouldn't, and you shouldn't have either. I mean, you could spend years in an English prison. Sounds a lot of Hi, Sorry, I, I don't speak Italian. So Bill will come back to you and say, the, I'm sorry, he told us I can uh, speak Italian. And then. Oh, I'm, shit. I'm barreling through you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that open? Just so we all know what we're doing. Yes. John's fine. I just need to talk to you guys. Okay. Yes. That's, I think we're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we look at cards? Yeah, yeah. Bobby. I'm going to have Bobby not play that. Bill turns, starts yelling at you. 
Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. We just need. Let's put a little more Fred there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's that. Yeah. We just need a line this, before I Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And then Fred. Then when you say this line. Yeah. Let's underline this line. Yeah. 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 Put a line for it. So it seems too. What I need you to say. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Wait. 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 He say that you say. Right. I mean, it's sort of like give Fred something along lines of like, who does this guy think he is? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then. You yell at me. Yeah. I'm gonna do a longer thing. Just to make it easy for everybody, can we just have... Yeah, me? Bill should have a line. Have lines for me yelling. Yeah, he says, who does this guy think he is? I'm like, god win. damn it, I fucking, this guy told me we had another yeah. country that he speaks Italian. Yeah. And then he was and I go, Italian. Italian. Oh, he's yeah. Italian. He's Italian. He's Italian. Italian. I'm sorry. Well, that is patently untrue. And then I start yelling. Then you yelling. start yelling again, right? Straight, yeah. Yes. Yes. Give me this. Instead of what are you saying to him, what is he saying? Yeah, what is he saying? He goes, he is saying he is very sorry. He is saying, yeah, um, to yeah. make it more yes. clear. Yeah. You're what right. What is he saying? Yeah. He's saying? He is saying he is very sorry and so clear that you are not saying it. You need to be yeah. Yeah. And then way more pissed off. And then I think it goes, and he also says, he also says he, he loves, loves Charlie. I think, I think he loves you in Con Air. He, he loves, loves you in Con Air. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm the fucking producer of the show. Fuck you, you know what I'm talking about? The joke being so clear that you're not saying, I'm saying, I'm playing it. And I'll play it a little better. I'm not playing it either. But I'll play it higher. Yes, yes. Like, I'll be he's sick. He's okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. I'll talk to Harry about the mustache. Yeah, yeah. I'll really barrel into it. And then, barrel into it. Yeah. If, do we need Chef Hat for Chef Hat? We're going to give him big uh, curly mustaches. I think they should. They should. Let's get them the chest hats. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, make sure they know that. And then, and then, uh, like the yeah. turn styles. The other like thing, the can I just have it on the front of someone that says that makes that little smoother transition after I do an impression of him? Say, okay, yes. now, back to the green drum now. Yes. Let's please, let's talk about the movie. Yes, you know? okay, yeah. yes. Back to... No, back to... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I talked through okay. with him, and um, there is a clean okay. copy coming. Just so you got it. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, we took out the third one about um, being your own boss. Yeah, I, I think that was a little bit tangential, right? Yeah. into any situation where there's this level of, of uh, talent and collaboration with writers and actors and designers and musicians, uh, people are aware when there's cameras. And so maybe we're not getting the full experience? Well, you know, I mean, there's many surfaces to things. I think when you have performers and cameras, you get something else, and sometimes that something else is better than what we're putting on, on uh, at 11.30, but I think... Um, it's an interesting, uh, you know, it's combustible. Let's go find a doctor with low standards. Yeah. All right, so that'll be quicker. Or like that takes care. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's go find a doctor that takes care. <laughs> uh, and, I and think, yeah, cut. faster than Are we getting a calculator? Guys, <laughs> we don't know what you're getting. Nobody has promised you anything. We are getting a calculator. Here you go. That's for the both of you. All in eight. Look at that. I, I feel like I'm going to need, like, freak-out control. <laughs> this is, like, about the size of a Texas Instruments A100 model. I can feel it. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to start crying. It seems like a lot of things are run the same way that they were, you know, from the very beginning. Exactly. But 
the show's lasted so long, uh -huh. there's something that, how do you stay current? It's all about different generations. There's always new people every year, and I think that there's a, um, you know, a, a, what people lack in experience, they make up for an enthusiasm and excitement and a new way of looking at things. I love it so much. I'm like, God, it's a beautiful it's a newest model. It's like the numbers. It's unbelievable. I'm never going to forget it. It's a calculator. We're going to calculate it. Let's take a picture of it. It's a calculator. I'll never stop using it. Look at this calculator. What's the biggest worry? That you have a bad show? Yeah, that's a really big worry. And, but obviously, I mean, I don't think with the Yeah, I know, but with the audience, you can't. Um, you can't go in front of the show and explain that there's a large body of work uh, and that, you know, tonight might, might not be that good. It, we're all of the moment, and if you're always as good as your last show, and that's just the way we are. Do a 89 times 56. So the shows now are having to contend with decades of material. It's like working for Henry Ford as opposed to working for Ford Motor Company. Because now this is an institution. But the good thing about it is that it reinvents itself. Every new cast, the show that Sandler did is not this show. This is not Mike Myers' show. Do you know what I mean? Each cast makes the show their own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's from the film. I can be John Malkovich. I'm sorry. Hello. My name is John Malkovich. <laughs> you don't sound anything like that. Oh, you sound exactly like this. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Doesn't he sound like this? <laughs> it's got to be very, very brief with the to be Yeah, I'd be happy to get back to talk about the film. <laughs> In Italy, there is a similar film called Being Vinny Vadeci. <laughs> really? Yes, 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 yes. Rock clip, rock clip. Bambe, grazie. I think it's pornography. So are you guys like really gauging? I mean, it seems like it's it's. A lot of it is, is pleasing that particular audience or gauging that audience. Well, I think you do to a certain... Like a dress, though, you can tell when an audience is dead. Like during dress, then you go, well, now we have to ignore everything they said. I don't know what you want! Again! sketch you didn't think was going to go well mm -hmm. and it kills or that sketch you thought was super funny and it dies because when something dies it's really hard to go oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> we're going to stick by it <laughs> 
So not so angry then, right at the top? I think, yeah, not at the, not at the top because it, it's going to get there. Okay. Uh, can we get up, John, when Fred starts yelling? Okay. Uh, can we take that cross, too, uh, with Bill in the foreground instead? Because I, I like Seems that shot. Yeah, okay. Cool. Bobby's entrance and Bobby's uh, beat, we're going to go shorter on that? Yeah, there's some internal it, trims uh, in Bobby's question. Right, okay, because it, it ends, I mean, it's the cigarette of the mouth. Yes. I believe it's the... Yeah. That is patently untrue. That's all he's going to say. What's that? No, 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 no. What is he saying? And then you go, bah. Just be uh, cognizant of any of it that she's going to move a lot quicker. So just in your line, you got to cut down. I mean, it really is funny because the whole week is building up for this, you know, the, the live show. And then the live show happens and it's over like that. Live from New York! It's Saturday Night! It's Saturday Night Live! There is a crazy weight that comes with I don't know if you experienced that with the live show. The difference between dress and air. When you actually went out on air, there's just kind of like energy, this weird kinetic thing happening where you're just like, this is live. When I leave here tonight, I will have focused, uh, I'll have an overall impression of the show, but I will also generally just focus on the mistakes. And it will take me a day or two to shake them off. And then on Monday, there'll be somebody new sitting there, uh, Hugh Laurie will be sitting there. Gertie, Gertie, what are you doing? It's called French kissing. I read it in a magazine. Flare magazine? No, knife magazine. Gertie, here we are. Okay, let's go watch the movie downstairs. Hey, Kyle. Uh, it's Gertie again. I guess the sleepover didn't go so well. You know, between the sleepover and the tail I've been growing, <laughs> it sure is hard being a girl. So my nipples are the size of coffee can lids. <laughs> you already knew that. Anyway, I think I'm gonna burn this house down now. <laughs> Talk to you later, God. <laughs> It's like the host never, you never have a free moment to update. Donna takes you everywhere you need to go. You don't have to think anymore. It's just you stand there. Again, it's part of that letting go. And it's like you stand here and while you're walking, you're getting changed, you know, for the next thing. And they shove you through a door and then you're in that scene. Hey, 
yeah. happy with it? Yes. Yeah, awesome. A little hiccup at the top. Fred said his line really fast, yeah. and there was a cutting issue. Really? But I don't think anybody noticed. I it was only me and Fred were like afterwards going, oh, shit, did, we, did I say the wrong line? Did you no, say the wrong no, line no. first? And he was like, did I do something wrong? But no, I didn't even did the impression sound okay? That was perfect. The second line got a big laugh. I think it got the impression better. Yeah, yeah. If you want to see me dressed as a French aristocrat in a hot tub without getting to know me socially, come see Jacuzzi. If you get the right mix of talented people and it all kind of connects, there's nothing better, you know? And when it doesn't, well then, as I said, there's next week. cast and crew here who make this the greatest gig in show business. And thanks to all of you. Thank you. show where you have a, it's like Knight Rider, but you have a talking motorcycle, like kid, it's like a talking Harley Davidson, but um, it can't, you can't hear the voice over the engine, so it just has this creepy voice, and it's very cool, as a um, and then I had an idea where you're a guy who, you climbed, um, there's this mountain in Alaska called Denali, and you climbed it, and it's like your big trunk part, car that you pull out at cocktail parties, and you're like, you know, I climbed Denali. And you meet a guy that doesn't know what that is, and so he's not impressed at all. And he's like, "I've heard Mount Everest, but like I don't know what the knowledge is." You know? and so you're kind of bummed out because you can't play a trump card. <laughs> where you own a Mexican restaurant where the motto is it's all about the tortilla but you recently realized it's not all about the tortilla <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult time dealing with that um, and, uh, and uh, Andy and I are working on an idea where you're Pablo Picasso I'll talk about later. Okay. Hey, I have an idea where you would be demonstrating a new hand cream in a department store, but you won't let go of people's hands. <laughs> and then maybe an, an idea where you would be background in a remote a romantic scene, and you're easily grossed out by things that you shouldn't be grossed out by. <laughs> Abby? Uh, hello. Um, so I had an idea where you play Jack the Ripper, and uh, you go to kill the prostitutes, but you're really repulsed by them because they're really crude and just disgusting. <laughs> um, and then I had another idea where you're being interviewed by Robert Osborne on TCM for, uh, he, he does guest programmers where they come and talk about their favorite films and you just love all the chick flicks from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I have an idea where you're uh, a guy that, that works at a film school and you check out the equipment to the students. Every time you check out equipment to them, you tell them how they're never going to make it. Something where you're a lazy, a lazy uh, beanbag salesman. <laughs> hire you as a magician at a children's party, and uh, your act is a lot darker than they were expecting. Um, and I had an idea for a, a pill for people who are used to watching television with TiVo, and they're forced to watch regular TV with commercials, and it helps them cope with that. <laughs> See, that's a wrap. Uh, <laughs> Can I say it now? That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>